Greetings everyone, this is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon and in this weekly video tip we're going to look at something that is found in the export button. You can find it in any of these selections here at the top. We're going to go to entire song and it is this duplication count at the bottom. And essentially this is not something you may use often but when you need it it's quite a valuable tool. And I'm going to illustrate to you one thing that you can do with it here, and that is that if you have something open on your screen like I do here, which is essentially a clap, something like that. And if we want to make a clap track, for example, where we want this to play repetitively, yeah, you could go through the problems of copying this and then pasting it in Song Surgeon a second time and then a third time and then a fourth time. But the easiest way to do that is simply to go here to the export duplicate count and tell Song Surgeon the number of times that you want to duplicate this. So I'm going to type in 99 and let's put in 99 here so we can remember what this is. I'm going to save it and it's exporting it now. You can see it down here. It's completed. So let's go to the open button, go to the export folder within Song Surgeon, which would be documents, Song Surgeon 5, export, open this, and now we have a file with 99 copies of this clap track placed one right after the other, about 30 seconds worth, 20, 27 and a half, 27.65 seconds worth. So this duplicate count feature is a way in which you can easily take something that you have open in Song Surgeon and make multiple copies of it and have those placed back to back. So whether it's a loop, whether it is a small phrase or segment of a song or anything else, this is an easy way to do this very, very quickly. Um, and of course, if you want to modify the key or the tempo of whatever it is that you're doing, um, those modifications will also be contained in this final file once it's exported, regardless of whether you have one copy that you're making or 50 copies or 100 copies. And so hopefully you'll find this interesting and of value. And that will conclude this week's video tutorial. Thanks for watching.